on Israel, bankrolling terror groups throughout the Middle East, plotting the assassination of an American presidential candidate, and, oh yes, enriching uranium close to weapons-grade levels. That's what we're talking about when we talk about Iran. Give the mullahs of Tehran a little credit. They become masters at inflicting damage against the U.S. and Israel in just the right dose that harms their enemies and expands their regional reach without provoking a major war, which could spell the doom for their regime. But today they might have just miscalculated. The 181 ballistic missiles that Iran launched at Israel today may look at first like a bold stroke, but it may have given Israel and the U.S. justification for a major punitive response. And who knows what that might be. Joining us now is the former U.N. ambassador and Trump national security advisor, John Bolton. Ambassador, it's great to have you. Um, just within the last hour, Benjamin Netanyahu issued a statement uh, saying, this evening Iran made a big mistake and will pay for it. Sinwar and Daif did not understand this, neither did Nasrallah or Mohsen. Apparently there are those in Tehran who do not understand this either, but they will. What do you think Israel might be doing what do you think Israel should be doing right now? Well, I think uh, Israel this time is not going to listen to the Biden administration tell them to take the win, as happened back in April, uh, when uh, Iran attacked and Israel responded with a pinprick strike of one or a couple of missiles against one missile launch site in Iran. Uh, this time, I do think there will be a very substantial response, uh, whether it's against the uh, Iranian Revolutionary Guard bases and headquarters, whether it's against their oil infrastructure on the Gulf, whether it's against the nuclear program, I don't know. I think any of those would be uh, targets that would be perfectly legitimate for Israel to go after. Uh, and I think this time the, uh, this, is, this is a demonstration for everybody, and not just for the terrorist groups, but for Iran itself. They may not fear the United States, they do fear Israel, and they'll fear it more after this Israeli response. I had asked the Israeli ambassador to the United Nations earlier in the show, at the beginning of the program, about whether or not Iran's nuclear facilities were on the potential target list. He refused to say, but you think they are and that they should be? Uh, definitely they should be. Look, uh, uh, in April, uh, the Iranians launched about 120 ballistic missiles against Israel. They launched maybe 130 drones,